Hello guys, in this tutorial I will uh, show you one very famous custom ROM for Android TV box. Uh, I have Mini M8S2 uh, Android box, it's manufactured 2016, it's old box but uh, still very functional and works uh, uh, perfect. So uh, this is the ROM uh, called XT mode by Xanitech. Uh, link with that uh, ROM you will find in the description of this video. It's posted on the famous XDA uh, developers forum. Uh, uh, it's for Mini M8S2 but uh, should work on any P220 motherboard basis TV boxes such as Tenix, uh, uh, Nextbox. Uh, um, if you use uh, uh, those uh, different boxes uh, you just uh, remember to put the correct remote configuration if you want to have a functional remote uh, uh, controller. So uh, uh, you will find what is included in this ROM, what, uh, how to install that using my logic USB burning tool. Later I will show you how to do that. Uh, uh, and. Uh, I think that uh, this guy Sanitech deserve to offer him a beer or coffee or simple sign appreciation uh, for him sending him a donation. So better custom ROM uh, you, you probably you will not find uh, for that box. If you don't sure what uh, TV box you have, simply install a CPU Z and uh, in, in devices in device uh, you will find board and uh, mark for that um, for your model it's uh, as you can see p217 uh, i'm logic uh, i have a version uh, with two gigabyte ram and uh, uh, eight gigabyte uh, uh, rom so as you can see uh, how it looks like uh, it's, uh, this ROM is all already rooted with SuperSU uh, and pre-installed exposed installer so you can use different modules uh, for the ROM and additional uh, make a cust customization of that ROM. Uh, Play Store works very fine. Uh, all uh, Google services works uh, without any bugs. So uh, I use that ROM about uh, a year and I didn't notice any bug for Mini M8S2 uh, Android Tab Box. Bluetooth works very fine. So that's it, guys. In the next video, I will show you how to flash this ROM. Uh, basically, uh, you can use the same method to flash uh, any other custom ROM. Uh, also, I will post a link for a stock version uh, of uh, ROM for Mini M8S2 uh, so if you don't like this ROM you can simply flash uh, stock version but uh, I promise you that uh, uh, it's, uh, the mentioned custom ROM is better much better than stock uh, version of that ROM, ROM for Mini M awesome, uh, M8S2 so see you later guys to show you how to flash the ROM so you need a logic USB burning tool uh, 212 and uh, far firmware for your uh, TV box uh, version 3.0 uh, so uh, for U uh, USB burning tool uh, you need a, a USB cable uh, but mail mail as you can see one in PC And uh, uh, second uh, in uh, Android TV box. Also, you need uh, one toothpick. Two toothpick. So uh, you must find place uh, for uh, flashing on TV box uh, when you need to uh, press uh, toothpick, as you can see. This is the place on TV box, uh, but you need to press that and uh, plug USB cable. So, in TV box, uh, TV box must uh, uh, 
without to be without any cable uh, without SD card if you have some SD card in TV box you must remove that and uh, you need toothpick and USB cable so I installed already installed uh, uh, USB burning tool I uh, use uh, uh, Windows Windows 10 so no any issue uh, with that version um, and uh, already uh, plays uh, ROM in image format on desktop uh, so when you uh, run uh, USB burning tool you need to press with toothpick that place and plug USB cable so uh, I'm going to try that So as you can see, connection success. So next thing, file import image, find ROM. As you can see, and when everything ready you need to click start it will take about three minutes for flashing that So if you uh, not success from first time to make a connection with Android TV box and uh, Windows, you must practice that. So uh, it's important to uh, during pressing uh, with toothpick uh, plug USB cable. So uh, you must try a few times if uh, if you after that if you don't uh, have a connection it means that maybe you have issues with driver on windows but uh, as you can see i use windows 10 and uh, usb burning tool 212 so no any issue uh, with connection or drivers or something like that so as you can see burning successfully it took uh, three minutes and 23 seconds so when you flash that you need to unplug usb and then uh, press stop and turn off uh, uh, that so we're on tv box and for first booting after uh, installation uh, you need about five to ten minutes so don't worry uh, just be patient so we will see again after ten minutes so after ten about approximately ten minutes you will uh, see that screen okay i'm uh, i'm going to use uh, uh, wireless mouse but uh, you can also use uh, remote uh, for that as you can see it's wor fully workable uh, but uh, i prefer to use uh, wireless uh, mouse okay You need to connect with uh, your uh, Wi-Fi. Okay, it's uh, connected instantly. So this is a first screen. So as you can see, it's uh, how it looks like this custom ROM. 
So if you want to roll back to stock version uh, for Mini M8S2, uh, you can simply use the same M-Logic burning tool and uh, ROM, which I post uh, um, also uh, in link in the description of this video. I hope that you liked uh, my uh, video and uh, if you want, uh, click on like or subscribe, subscribe to my channel. See you again guys, bye bye.